because I feel like Sephiroth is one of those characters that, despite the fact that we have seen very little of him offline, is a character that certainly can play to um, the skill set of the player and can, while maybe not necessarily be a rushdown character, can perform more like your tra traditional sortie, but can also be uh, that zoner that we can know him to be due to his incredible range. And another thing, too, is that, you know, Peach is definitely an aggressor sometimes, but this is kind of one of the matchups where we're going to probably be seeing Sephiroth initiate a lot of the times when they're in close combat, you know, just duking it out. We're probably going to see, you know, Sephiroth just do everything there. Um, so this is definitely going to be very interesting, specifically because of just, like, how scary it might have to be for Toe to actually get anything started. You know? Yeah, it, it is one of those things where Sephiroth, while his get off me buttons are not particularly good, getting in on Sephiroth is going to be difficult. And while Peach certainly has the tools, uh, float, air drift in general, and um, some meaty hitboxes certainly can help Peach out along with her excellent frame data. Uh, but this is going to be the difficulty here, is getting in on Sephiroth, especially with the ledge trap game as solid as Assetto's is. The F will taking the stock there, that huge hitbox. Very nice. Ooh. Okay, not going to get too confident kind of started, but just trying to get back to center stage, that's definitely what's needed here in order to actually kind of get something going. You know, try and at least take the stock, and very nice trade with that back air. Um, but yeah, for sure, we need, to, we definitely just need to see a hopefully nice Edgar coming in. Ooh, wow, that move! I want to talk about sharks. That move, sharks. Good God, all the way through the stage. Ooh, and a little bit of misty eye. Oh God. Okay, Dash through the bomb, through the bomb away. All right, we oh. not playing with RNG. <laughs> I mean, you know. Bomb be scary, so oh. why would you want it? <laughs> oh, it's like that one Twitter clip. He's afraid. They're afraid of the Twitter clip of the of Sephiroth hitting the bomb in midair. Oh no! Looking very bad for Toad here. I mean, honestly, he is at 110 percent, and I mean, this is definitely looking like the way this matchup goes. I mean, um, so, wow, just ooh, this looks so scary. Yeah, it's definitely, um, it's just seems like the atypical kind of zoner versus brawler matchup here. And Sephiroth certainly has that range to keep Peach out. Um, but as we've seen, once Peach is in, um, Toad's been able to get quite a lot of damage and kind of keep Sephiroth to the corners. Um, that being said, it is difficult to keep Sephiroth off the stage. Those huge hitboxes um, with the uh, charge that B is really a difficult move to challenge. Maybe the most difficult up to challenge in the game with how much range it has above him. Ooh, and counter beautiful. Wow. Big comebacks. I mean, that was such a nice read coming in from Toad and just not letting any of this up. You can't let none of this up. You got to use Peach to the fullest advantage that she has. Just keep on getting that damage. Let's see it. Yeah, and even when put in disadvantage, uh, ends up kind of pulling a interesting option uh, out of their pocket and counters in midair, which is really kind of slow and floaty for Peach, but it ends up working out the aggressive nature of uh, Aceto's gameplay uh, when he's been in advantage state. But definitely this lead is looking very quite nice for Toad. I mean, honestly, if they just keep this up, get that all that advantage started and just trying their best to take this stock, we can definitely see game one going to Toad. But not to count anyone out, let's just see what happens. And with Wing already on deck, uh, Sephiroth is certainly a dangerous character here. Uh, that Eftel not safe on block, um, not at that range. Ooh. Being dangerous, nice close carry. beautiful parry. Just being very careful. Ooh, love this. No grab on the dash attack. Oh. Try to catch jump in with the up smash. And they both make it back to stage. Yeah, that's a very, hard punish. Very nice. Definitely seeing that um, Toad was trying to actually stay very far from ledge itself, considering, you know, Sephiroth has his, you know, shenanigans. But definitely nice ledge trap coming in there from Toad. Just very nice. I mean, we, we love it, don't we? Yeah, very consistent. Just keeping it safe generally and overall. Um, obviously, that up be um, very, very unsafe when done on, on stage. Uh, and the back air with just enough time to get the shield out. Uh, that is a very, very uh, low lag move. And wow, had enough time to dash out of shield and then F smash. That, that move is, is 
punishable. He got a golf club to the butt. Yeah, that, that was it. That was um, just. All right, and we're going Smashville. I like the counter pitch. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks like Smashville out of town. Yeah, that's Smashville. I mean, that um, definitely looks like it's going to be uh, a little bit easier for Sephiroth to kind of space it, considering how, you know, there's not that much space, so the little Three, space that you. Oh, wait, what? One, oh, we are going town. Oh, did you so, say Smashville? Oh, no, that, okay, it was, it was changed. It was originally checked to Smashville, and now it's town. Okay, so, uh, yes, we are, in fact, on town, um, which I do like this stage for Sephiroth. The majority of your kills of Sephiroth are, in fact, going to be coming off the side. That F tilt is a great option. Back air, forward air, all options that end up killing around that 100% to 150% mark, depending on the move, uh, and a lot of them killing off the side. So, with Town of City, short blasts off the side. I love the counter pick a lot, and the amount of space in the stage gives you a lot of room to zone. I mean, honestly, I'm definitely liking this peach. I mean, from a lot of different other peaches that we can see, like um, you said, Player 4 from Long Island, um, looking at the way he's played this matchup before, he's definitely played it very patient, but just more patient in general more so. Yep. And Toad is kind of just, like, doing really well, and as I say that, he gets a big samurai sword to the face. Yeah, and you've got to love the uh, counter by um, Aceto there. Uh, Acknowledging how huge that hitbox is and still being able to hit Peach Parasol and get the hit out before she grabs ledge um, is great for Sephiroth and is a huge tool in the matchup. So if Aceto can continue to force um, Toad to go low, he can do great. But the Trump into the back air, looking very good right now for Toad. I mean, that was kind of just a really amazing ledge Trump, but just going to need to get that damage, looking for a way to actually get in as we just watch and almost suffer <laughs> because it is Sephiroth and never mind, who's suffering now? Oh, huge hitbox through the platform. Almost gets the up to confirm after as well. I like the idea there, um, but no dice there for Aceto. Nice. And the, the approaches, oh my goodness, uh, the <laughs> approaches by Toad have been very good. I think mixing in that dash attack has been very solid, along with these turn of throws. Nice air dodge by Aceto. Can he make it back? Not barely. Just not enough. Okay, just trying to land. Definitely waiting to see, wow, how much, you know, extra credit Toad can actually get in here and how long it would actually take for a set out to um, get this, you know, back to an even even setting. Very nice counter. Yep. Again, those counters at disadvantage have been few and far between, but we are um, looking at what is a likely win for Toad here. This is a maybe not insurmountable comeback for Sephiroth, but certainly a difficult one. Oh, okay. High counter. I think it may have been meant to be a short hop. Very nice to That's take a stop. Gonna be now definitely going to be a little bit more careful here because before Toad had rage, and now he doesn't have um, rage all that often. Oh, but that's it. That's yeah, that's it. Wow, wow. amazing. Yeah, and the edge guard Wonderful. super nice, super Beautiful. nice. By Talented, Toad. love that. And yeah, we have Toad moving on. So that is our winners round two. First game of Zeno, Vaxino. Let me be specific. I was about to say Vino plus a number, but it's not a numbered Zeno just yet. It's Vaxino. And yeah, excellent edge guarding. Uh, once the jump was sniped, it was very nice. Kind of simple flow charty. We have John Numbers in the room. It's John Numbers. Hi, John.